Welcome back then guys to this live stream. It is now time for the main event, the 55 lap Abu Dhabi Grand Prix here at the Yaz Marina circuit. If you didn't see what happened in qualifying yesterday, it was very interesting. In the end, Daniel Ricciardo went on to take his and GOM's first ever pole position in IFMC with Lewis Hamilton in second and Max Verstappen finally showing some pace again in third position. And looking at the grid, if it stood like this for the race, then Lewis Hamilton would win the Drivers' Championship. Alonso has to win and hope Lewis, is, Lewis finishes no higher than fourth in order to keep his chances alive going into Adelaide next week. So it's all ready to play for. Will we be crowning a third champion this week or will it go to the finale in Adelaide? We'll have to wait and see on that. So we've got 55 laps of action coming your way here at Abu Dhabi then. So let's get on with it then. Before we start then, guys, let's mute this. Turn this up a little and let's have a look at the grid for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Here we go then. So our pole position is Daniel Ricciardo for the first time in his career with Lewis Hamilton in second. Max Verstappen lines up in third with Fernando Alonso in fourth. Sebastian Vettel lines up in fifth with Sergio Perez in sixth position. Pascal Verlein, a very impressive seventh with Nico Hulkenberg in eighth position. Ninth on the grid goes to Felipe Massa, followed by Kimi Raikkonen in the Suomi in tenth. Eleventh on the grid goes to jean louis Verne, followed by Valtteri Bottas in twelfth in the Eldorado. Thirteenth on the grid goes to Romain Grosjean, followed by Carlos Sainz Jr. in fourteenth. Fifteenth is his teammate Charles Leclerc, followed by Brennan Hartley, the new Willows racing driver for GP3 next season in sixteenth. Kevin Magnussen starts 17th with Stoffel van Dorn in 18th. 19th on the grid goes to Esteban Ocon, followed by Antonio Giovinazzi in 20th with a lot to do. And on the back row of the grid, it's as per usual the Mars Grand Prix drivers, Ed Jones 21st and Scott Dixon in 22nd. And that is the grid for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So there is the grid then, guys, for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And the weather, of course, bright and sunny. So leave your predictions, but without further ado... Let's get to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Will Hamilton win the championship or will Alonso stop him? So, here we are then on the grid then. It's Ricardo on the left of your screens. Hamilton on the right. Who's going to get the lead into turn one as we wait for the five red lights to go off? This is the the start of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix here at the Yas Marina circuit. So we wait for the lights to go on. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights are on. And it is go here at Abu Dhabi. It's a good start from Lewis. This is going to be a start to Ricardo. As a good down towards turn one. As Hamilton got the jump. Yes, he has also a good start for Alonso. Have the Etihad's got both of them at the start? Yes, they have. It's an Etihad 1 2. Hamilton and Alonso lead the pack into the first few corners. The Emirates fans go wild as the Etihad's make it 1 and 2 through the next few corners. Not a good start for Verstappen. A brilliant start from Perez. He's up to fourth. Everybody got through the first corner safely. I believe so. What about everybody else? Giovinazzi picks the wheel of the field. Ricardo staying put. Vettel and Verlein go side by side. A bit of contact. And Vettel goes for a spin. At the bus stop chicane. Vettel is spun. What on earth has happened there? Was the contact enough for Vettel and Verlein to collide into the bus stop chicane? Let's have a look then. So as you can see, Vettel gets a run on Verstappen up towards the bus stop chicane. And as you can see, tries to look to the inside. Verstappen keeps him put there. And as you can see, Verlein coming out of nowhere makes contact with Sebastian Vettel. That's why he was pushed wide. And then further contact. And uh, well, Vettel goes around for a spin. That will have to be investigated after the race. And, uh, well, contact already on the first lap of the race as everybody just tries to get through on Vettel now then as Vettel has been punted at the start of the race by fellow compatriot Pascal Verlein. Vettel able to get out of the way as everybody now gets on the way again. But, um, well, Vettel with a lot of work to do from the back after being punted by Verlein into the chicane. Now, in the meantime, the top four, or oh, top five, I should say, have broke away from the rest of the pack. Hamilton leading from Alonso in second, followed by Ricardo third, Perez fourth, Verstappen in fifth position, Verlein under investigation sixth, Hulkenberg seventh, and Bottas rounds out the points in eighth as everybody's now been unconjoined, as it were. As, uh, Vettel, I think, is out of the race. He hasn't moved. So, uh, I think Sebastian Vettel is out of the race now, then. And uh, that's that then, really, as far as they are concerned. We haven't seen it, so I think Vettel might have just beached himself at the chicane. And um, that's that then, really. So Sebastian Vettel 
is out of the race and we're down to 21 runners in this Grand Prix. So uh, as you can see, Jared actually trying to make his way up through the field now. Then there's a bit of a lock up there from Magnussen into that chicane. So Hamilton leading the way as they go around the chicane, starting to build a bit of a gap between himself and Fernando Alonso. If the result stayed like this, and Hamilton would win the Drivers' Championship. So ha Alonso's got to try and get Ricardo Perez and maybe even Verstappen involved to try and stop him from taking the championship. So now, as they go around the right-hander up towards the hotel section now then, for the first time today, as they make their way round through the left-hander on the track now, then up towards the final two turns, uh, we will go on the track now then, as they make their way round through the section of corners, into the second to last corner, and then up towards the final corner goes Alonso, as he's got Ricardo breathing down his neck at the moment, as they go down the pit straight, so on the end of that one, of 55 then, here at the Asperina circuit, it's Hamilton who leads, Alonso second, Ricardo third, Perez fourth, Verstappen fifth, Verline sixth, Hulkenberg seventh, and Bottas running out the top eight at the moment, Matson and Verne trying to close him in, at this stage of the race now then, as they make their way round through the section of corners, Groves runs down the back, he's lost a bit of front wing, what has ever happened to him? Him, and something must have happened at the chicane we just passed. So whatever's happened, Grosjean has lost half a front wing and will have to make a trip to the pits this lap around. So a chaotic start to the race here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix at Yas Marina. So uh, Grosjean is going to be put, he's going to have to make a, a forced trip to the pits and might have to change his strategy. As a result, Grosjean has lost half a front wing at the start of the race now. Then, so as you can see. Uh, everybody kind of separating themselves at the moment. Ocon starting to pressure the Claire for thir 13th place as Van Dorn's having to fend off from Hartley in the monster car now. Then if we come out of turn one and up towards turns two and three, we will go on the track now. Then will Ocon try and find a way through on Charles Leclerc into the bus stop chicane now. Then running right on board with Esteban Ocon as they go down towards the bus stop chicane now. Then he thought about it, but Leclerc fends him off and holds on to 13th. Grosjean into the pits for his impromptu pit stop. Hartley unable to find a way through on... Um, on Vandal that time around, Giovinazzi now on the back of Dixon, trying to make his way up through the field, and he takes the place with ease. Up into 19th goes Antonio Giovinazzi, Grosjean in, as mentioned, to repair that front wing and uh, change the strategy possibly in the process. Alonso continuing to lose time to Lewis Hamilton, as now Ricardo starts to try and chase him down for second place in this Grand Prix. As they make their way now, then up towards the left, right and left-hander on the track, as uh, they make their way round through the section of corners now then. Through the right and then the left hander. We will go now then as they make their way round through this next left hander on the track. Coming off the turn as um, Ricardo uses a tad bit of curb on the outside there then. So around the triple right hander we go. Ricardo approaching the next 90 degree right hander. As he still tries to put Fernando Alonso under a little bit of pressure now then on the track. And uh, that's that then really as far as they're concerned. So if you can hear me dog in the background now then. As uh, now we will approach the final two turns on the track now then. And um, that's that then really. Sorry about that, as Hamilton now sets the fastest lap of 1 minute 35.528 now then. Here at Abu Dhabi as they make their way down towards turn 1. On the track now then through towards turns 2 and 3 we will go. And uh, so now around this right hander we go. And now they go down the hill towards the, uh, the bus stop chicane now then on the track. And uh, as they make their way round through the section of corners. Ocon now then trying to make his way through in towards turn one on the track now and as you see Leclerc went a tad bit wide there into turn one this might help Ocon try and find a way through on him now then in towards turns two and three on the track heading down the straight now then we go before approaching the bus stop chicane, Leclerc goes defective, Ocon going to the inside, will he get the move done on Leclerc, into the bus stop chicane, down the inside, Leclerc trying to stick with him now, into the chicane, round the outside he tries to go, and he gets it, up into 13th goes Esteban Ocon in the Martini, and uh, that's that position for him as a result, Hamilton now then coming down the long straight, Ricardo still stuck behind him at this stage, as they come out of the chicane, heading down, the support pitch straight. Verline starting to close down on Verstappen for P5 at the moment. So these could, could scrap it out for fifth place at this stage of the race. As they come down the support pitch straight. Remember, AMP and Martini are fighting it out for sixth, for seventh place in the Constructors Championship. So pretty much a battle for them, really, as far as they're concerned. Round the left, then the right, and then into the left hander again. We will go on the track as Verline now then comes through the 90-degree left hander using a tad bit of curb 
on the outside there. Then before approaching the triple right-hander. Verline still trying to put Verstappen under a little bit of pressure now. Then as it will approach the 90 degree right-hander. Verline trying to put pressure on Verstappen in front. Around the left and then into the next left-hander. He will go on the track as it will soon approach the last two turns on the track now. Then Verline through the right and then up towards the final corner. We'll go Pascal Verline into the final corner and on to the pit straight we go. And uh, Verline will soon approach turns one, two and three on the track as he tries to put pressure on Verstappen in front. Out of turn one we go now and coming off the turn in towards turns two and three we go. The gap between him and Verstappen is 0 0.9 seconds. So that's how that looks at this stage of the race now then. Ricardo starting to lose time to Alonso. So Alonso starting to pull away a bit now from the Australian just as he did at Fuji last weekend but this is not what he needs because he needs Hamilton to drop down to fourth because if it stays like this Hamilton will win his first IFMC title so he has to try and get hold of Hamilton if he can now then it'll soon approach the left and right hander on the track so through the left and then into the right hander we will go as they'll use a tad bit of curb on the outside there then as uh, Alonso now then comes down the support pit straight now then before approaching the, uh, the next left and right hander. Alonso now then approaching the section of the corners through the left. Then the right and then into the left hander again. He will go as he will now approach the 90 degree left hander on the track. As they come off the turn using a tad bit of curb on the outside there. Then as uh, Alonso goes around the triple right hander. Same as Lewis Hamilton who continues to pull away out in front of the minute. And now through... The left hander he goes now, they're just missing the curb on the outside as he will now approach the final two corners on the track now. Then into the second to the last turn and on up towards the final corner will go Lewis Hamilton as he will now make his way down the pit straight now. Then and uh, so that's that for him, really. Now, then, as meantime, Verline tries to get hold of Max Verstappen in front of him at the moment, coming off the final turn. Uh, so let's see the gap then between Verlaine and Verstappen this time by as well. Lap 5 of 55, so 51 laps to go in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We'll get to the fuel loads in just a little bit um, well, after we've had a look at the gap between Verstappen and Verlaine. 0.9 seconds still, so they're both lapping around about the same pace as you are. Right, let's have a look at the fuel loads then. 16.6, 13.7, 13.8, 16.7, 32.6. So it looks like Verstappen's going on a one-stop, it seems. 17.7, 16.7, 16.6, 14.7. 15, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 15.7, 
And this is exactly what uh, what El Dorado needs at the moment. Because I think if it stays like this, I think uh, El Dorado will leap back in front of Bud Light Lime in the Constructors' Championship. And they're scrapped for third at this stage. And I think close up a little bit to EMR as well. With Hulkenberg only seventh at the moment. And uh, so that's how I think it currently looks at this stage. But we will wait and see as the race progresses, of course. As Perez tries to chase down Ricardo for third place. El Dorado back in a position where they're familiar with as they look to try and get some points on the board after what has been a tricky few weekends for the Romanian team. Although yesterday, of course, the team won the GP3 uh, team's title yesterday. So El Dorado finally getting the first IFMC title on the board, albeit a GP3, a GP3 team's title. But still, it's a title nonetheless in IFMC. They just missed out on the drivers yesterday, of course. Uh, Joseph Newgarden losing out to Ferdinand Hashberg in the end so that's that for them really is now into towards the second to last corner goes Sergio Perez as he will now approach the final corner and on to the pit straight he goes as uh, he will now approach the first corner of the track as we start lap 7 of 55 in this race now then so we now have specifically uh, 49 laps remaining in the Grand Prix the gap between Perez and Ricardo is now as I go around turns 2 and 3, 2.6 seconds. He's got a 4.2 second lead in front of Max Verstappen at the moment. So that's how that's looking at this stage. As Perez now then goes around the bus stop chicane for the seventh time today. As he looks to try and get a good position by the end of this Grand Prix. Perez now then rounds the left-hander on the track. as the top three break away from him at this stage. As they will now approach the chicane on the track now and Grosjean still trying to catch up to the rest of the pack Vandorn now down at the back of the pack of course um, looks like uh, something's happened to him of course so for whatever reason Vandorn is down 20 if he didn't have to make an impromptu pit stop on the first lap so something has happened to Vandorn so whatever the case he's down in 20th and now trying to make a fight back through the field so not a good start to the race for Stoffel Vandorn meantime update on Giovinazzi he's now up into 16th place so he's getting a move on as his next target will be Brendan Hartley in the monster car who's at the same time trying to chase down Leclerc Ocon slowly closing up onto Carlos Sainz so Ocon looking to gain a few more places in this race if he can as he makes his way down the support pit straight before approaching the left right left chicane on the track now then as Sparks come off the back of Carlos Sainz Jr and even Ocon's car that time by through the left then the right and then into the left hander we go on the track as uh, Ocon now then makes his way into this next left hander using a tad bit of curb on the outside there then as they make their way around the triple right hander as uh, Ocon looks to try and put pressure on Sainz if he can around the right and then into the left hander we will go as uh, Ocon now then goes underneath the bridge as now we will approach the final two turns on the track. We'll have a look and see what the gap is like between Ocon and Leclerc this time by as it will now come up towards the final corner. And let's see the gap then between Leclerc and Ocon in this instance as they come down the pit straight towards turns one, two and three on the track. Let's have a look and see the gap then through turn one and the gap between them is now. Let's have a look. Through turn two and then into turn three. Uh, the gap being 1.7 seconds. So that's how that looks uh, between the pair of them at this stage of the Grand Prix. As the pair of them make their way around the bus stop chicane now. Then and up towards the hairpin we will go. Around the left hand that goes Ocon. As he goes down the straight before approaching the chicane. So that's that for him really. Here's Verline. Trying to chase down Verstappen in front. But he's also getting caught up by Hulkenberg as well. So it looks like Hulkenberg trying to gain onto his compatriot. For place. Remember, Verline is under investigation for that start incident with Sebastian Vettel at the bus stop chicane. So maybe a punishment could come Verline's way if that's the case. As they make their way into the left, right, left chicane uh, on the track. Through the right and then into the left-hander we go. As now we will approach the 90-degree left-hander. Hulkenberg still trying to put pressure on Verline in front of him now then through the triple right hander we go as uh, Hulkenberg now then approaches the 90 degree right hander and then underneath the hotel section we will go and uh, Hulkenberg now then still trying to pile pressure on Verline in front of him who I think is now starting to I think lose time now to Max Verstappen I think Verstappen starting to uh, to stretch the gap a little bit between himself and, uh, pa and Pascal Verline at the minute as they go down the, uh, the pitch straight before approaching turns one, two and three on the track. 
around turn one we go as Verstappen will approach will exit the corner now then through turn two and then into turn three goes Max Verstappen as they make their way around the swooping right hander heading down the hill towards the bus stop chicane as Verstappen goes through the left then the right and then approaching the hairpin will go Max Verstappen as he'll go around the left hander heading down the straight he will go as he tries to get hold of Perez in front but he's too far away from him at this stage here's Hamilton still leading the way at this stage of the Grand Prix and so far if he can just keep this up he's looking good to take his first IFMC title but there's still a long way to go in this race and if it can happen in Grand Prix racing and it usually does Hamilton now then up towards the left right left chicane on the track now then Hamilton now then continuing to lead the way out in front through the left hander he goes as he uses the curb on the outside now then up towards the triple right hander he goes and uh, soon be starting lap 10 of 55 in a little bit so we will have 46 laps to go once he crosses the line through the left hander and then into the next left hander goes Hamilton as he flicks the car in through the corner and up and down towards the final two turns we will go on the track as Hamilton flicks it in and now up towards the final corner goes Lewis Hamilton as he heads down the pit straight. And uh, he now starts lap 10 of the race. What's the gap between him and Alonso at this stage of the Grand Prix? Up towards turn one we go. <clears throat> as uh, now he uses a tab of the curb on the outside. Looks like a little bit of understeer there from Lewis Hamilton. In fact, he's gone a little bit off there. And Hamilton nearly loses the back end. That could bring Alonso a tad bit closer to him at the moment. A little bit of a scare there for Lewis Hamilton. It must be sad as he nearly dropped it at that first corner. It now brings Alonso close to the back of him. So the two Etihads now scrapping it out for the lead of the Grand Prix. As they now make their way round the left hand and out on the track. Heading down the long straight before approaching the left right chicane. Alonso not close enough to get him into this next chicane now then. So, um... Alonso hanging back for the moment at this stage of the Grand Prix as they will now approach the left right chicane on the track through the left and then into the right hander we will go Alonso trying to get hold of Hamilton in front of him if he can down the uh, pitch the support pitch straight we go and uh, Alonso now then as Ricardo is also not is just within touching distance of these two as well so he could try and feed into this scrap as well into the chicane Alonso might be starting to lose time again to Hamilton so as mentioned a little bit of a scare there for the championship leaders just got to keep the nerves in check if he wants to win the championship today so now up towards the triple right hander we will go on the track as uh, Alonso trying to put pressure onto Lewis Hamilton in front of him at this stage round the left hander we go as he will now approach the next section of corners and now up towards the final two turns goes Hamilton and Alonso. Let's see the gap then this time by. Alonso is starting to lose time. But we'll have a look at the gap either way. Around the final turn and onto the pitch straight we will go. And let's see the gap then between Hamilton and Alonso. This time by into turns one and then turn two and three. We will soon go then. The gap between Hamilton and Alonso is one second exactly. So Alonso building so Hamilton building the gap again, despite that little error he made just at the exit of turn two there, which nearly probably cost him uh, an opportunity to go for the championship this weekend now. Then Ricardo also not that far back, still trying to chase down Alonso for second place if he can. Round the left hand there we go. Uh, so they now come down the straight now then. On the track, what's going on between Leclerc and uh, and Ocon? In fact, where is Ocon on the track? Something's happened to Ocon, and uh, Ocon's all the way down in 20th for some odd reason. So whatever's happened to Esteban Ocon, he must have made a mistake somewhere on the track. Uh, but whatever's happened, Ocon down to 20th, uh, a place ahead of Grosjean. So along with Van Dorn and Grosjean, Ocon's got to make a fight back through the field. What a shame. He was making progress through the field, and now he's got to do all that hard work again. So not a good race now for Esteban Ocon as he just comes out of the hotel section on the track now then. So a lot of work to do now then for Ocon as he's now down in 20th position. As uh, meantime... Uh, Massa still trying to chase down Bottas if he can, but so far he's just too far within touching distance of the uh, <clears throat> of his of the fin at the moment. 
as they now make their way around the left and right hand they're on the track as he just come off the turn now then heading down the straight before approaching the uh, the next chicane on the track now then Massa doing all he can to get all the Bottas in front of him we ride, we ride on board with Felipe Massa as he will now approach the left right left chicane on the track through the left then the right and then into the left hander again we will go as uh, Massa just avoids the curb on the outside through the 90 degree uh, left hander we go as they will soon approach the triple uh, right hander on the track now then and in towards the 90 degree right hander we will go as they make their way through the section of corners in towards the left hander we go as Massa will soon approach the final two corners on the track now then into the second to the last corner and then up towards the final corner goes Felipe Massa and uh, let's see the gap there between him and Bottas at this stage of the Grand Prix as they make their way down towards turn one on the track through turn one and then into turns two and three we will go in a little bit around these section of course 1.7 is the gap between Bottas and Massa and it's the same gap between Massa and Verne at the moment in this Grand Prix as Verne currently finds himself outside the point as he will soon approach the bus stop chicane in real life of course Jean Eric Verne yesterday went on to win the Formula E Championship for 2017-18 so congratulations to him on that regard and uh, finally proving Red Bull a point that they shouldn't have ditched him after the uh, the 2014 season so that's pretty much that then really as Verne tries to change Dan Massa for ninth place in this Grand Prix Hamilton meantime currently having a bit of a gap in front of Fernando Alonso now and as he continues to stretch the gap again after that little mistake he made a little bit earlier on in the Grand Prix. We now view Daniel Ricciardo, the man that will replace Alonso next season at Etihad Racing, trying to enjoy these final two races he has with GRM. As now through the right-hander he goes, underneath the hotel section goes Daniel Ricciardo. And we'll have a look and see in a little bit what the gap is like between Alonso and Ricardo at this stage of the Grand Prix as they now make their way round the final two turns. So let's see then. Let's see the gap then between Ricardo and Alonso in this Grand Prix as they make their way down the pitch straight now then. And uh, let's see then. The gap between Alonso and Ricardo is now as they make their way through turn one. We're getting close now to the first round of stops. Just a few more laps before we get to the first round of pit stops in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. 1.6 seconds. The gap between Alonso and and Ricardo in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Uh, now then, everybody kind of settled down now then into a rhythm. It must be said. Meantime, Van Dorn trying to make some progress through the field as he's now come up to the back of Scott Dixon's uh, Mars Grand Prix car now then as they make their way up towards the hotel section. Round the right hander we go and then into the left hander we soon approach. Around the left and then into the next left hander we will go. As now approaching the final two turns on the track now then as uh, Van Dorn comes out of the second to last corner up towards the final corner goes Stoffel Van Dorn as he makes his way down the pitch straight now then as uh, he looks to try and get a run on Scott Dixon if we if he can the gap between the pair of them and as you can see I don't think we even need to see a gap comparison because Van Dorn now right onto the backside of Scott Dixon. Ocon's not that far away from this scrap either. So Ocon trying to get up here if he can. Around the long swooping right hander we go. And uh, let's see. Can Vandal make a move into the bus stop? No, not close enough to get Dixon uh, that time by. So he's going to hang back for now. As they go through the bus stop chicane now. Then up towards the hairpin we will now go. Around this long swooping uh, left hander we go. And let's see if Vandal can get a run on Dixon down this long long straight Audi engine versus uh, Audi versus Porsche power down the straight look how much speed Van Dorn has compared to Dixon going down the straight he could even get him into this left hander he's going to go to the inside but Dixon looks like he covers him up I mean saying that of course Van Dorn finds a gap on the inside just about able to stop the car and gets up into 18th place a P18 there then for Stoffel Van Dorn and now Ocon will want a piece of Dixon for 19th place as he tries to make progress uh, through the field now then as they head down the straight now then here's Hamilton still leading the way at the moment through the left then the right and then into the hairpin we will soon go and uh, probably in a few laps time we'll see the uh, first round of stops getting underway now then probably in around about lap season lap 16 we will see the first round of pit stops 
getting underway here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix at Yas Marina. As uh, now we will approach the left-right chicane on the track. And uh, Fernando Alonso doing all he can to try and prevent Lewis Hamilton from wrapping up the championship this weekend. At the moment, a full successive, successive championship for Alonso is slipping away from him at this stage. Now then, as Alonso goes down the support pitch strip for approaching the left right and left hander on the track now then as Alonso tries to enjoy his final two races in IFMC before he moves to IFMC IndyCar after this season with ePower of course alongside Ryan Hunter Ray so uh, he's hoping for a good season there if he can and a good career in IFMC IndyCar as well Alonso now then through the triple right hander he goes as he will now approach the 90 degree right hander as he slows it all the way down now then underneath the hotel section as he makes his way into the next left hander coming off the turn before approaching the final two corners uh, on the track now then through the second to the last corner and then up towards the final corner goes Fernando Alonso as he will go down the pit straight now then as he will soon approach turn one let's see the gap between him and Hamilton either way as we're on lap 15 now the Grand Prix through turn one and the gap between them is now let's have a look up towards turns two and three two seconds exactly so that's how that looks now between Hamilton and Alonso I think it said 1.6 the gap between Alonso and Ricardo and yes it did 1.6 the gap is as Ricardo's got a 5.8 second lead in front of Sergio Perez at the minute what's the gap between Verstappen and Verline as they go out of turn one themselves the gap between them being 1.6 seconds also 1.6 between Verline and Hulkenberg at this stage of the Grand Prix as they swoop as Hulkenberg swoops his way out of turn three now then on the track and he's down towards the bus stop chicane and he's also got Valtteri Bottas who's in touching distance uh, behind him at this stage round toward up towards the left hander we will go on the track as uh, Hulkenberg makes his way around the long sweeping left hander heading down the long long straight before approaching the left right chicane on the track as uh, Hulkenberg now then will approach the next section of corners on the track and um, so in towards the section of corners through the left and then into the right hand there we go as uh, Hulkenberg tries to close up onto Verline in front if he can as they make their way down the support pit straight now then on the track and then up towards the left right left chicane we will soon go here comes Hamilton Still continuing to lead the way at the moment with a comfortable lead out in front. Uh, so now towards the final two turns we go. Hamilton continuing to build a lead out in front at this rate as he comes down the pit straight as uh, he will soon approach turn one on the track as Hamilton sets the fastest lap of the race there. You just saw uh, briefly as he comes down through turn one, he sets the fastest lap of a one. Uh, didn't quite see the lap time there, but Hamilton now setting the fastest lap of the Grand Prix as he continues to build a lead in front of Fernando Alonso in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as he makes his way down towards the bus stop chicane on the track now then through the right hander and then up towards the hairpin we, he will go as uh, Alonso is actually pitting at the end of this lap then so Fernando Alonso will be the first man to pit at the end of this lap for a scheduled stop uh, for fuel and tyres of course so Alonso coming in this lap as will Daniel Ricciardo so second and third coming in this time by so um, that will be very interesting stuff at the stage anybody else pitting yes Kimi Raikkonen's coming in this lap as well for Suomi uh, as is uh, that's it in fact so three cars coming in this lap Alonso, Ricciardo and Raikkonen so these three guys coming into the pits this time by as Alonso makes his way down the support pit straight and he will now approach the left right left chicane uh, on the track now then up towards chicane we go then through the left then the right and then into the left hander goes Fernando Alonso as he will soon approach the left hander on the track as uh, he uses a tad bit of curb on the outside up towards the triple right hander he will go and uh, Alonso now then up towards the right hander as he will soon approach the next left hander on the track Underneath the hotel will go Alonso. Uh, so he will soon be coming back into the pits this time by up towards the final two turns. Then goes Fernando Alonso as he will peel to the right, which he does into the pits. Then comes Fernando Alonso from second place. And also joining him will be Daniel Ricciardo in the GRM. As Hamilton sets another fastest lap of 1 minute 35.490. As the Etienne Mechanics uh, 
Sir Fernando Alonso right now. He's got 27.9 litres in the tank, so he will be scheduled to make another stop uh, after this, of course. Uh, in around about uh, lap 42, perhaps, he'll make the second stop. So it does look like these guys are too sorry. And a 15.8 second stop for Alonso. Ricardo's still going to be joined behind Fernando, as I think Raikkonen has now come into the pits himself. So Raikkonen in uh, as he now then yes he has Raikkonen in Ricardo finishes his stop where's Alonso and Ricardo going to rejoin then after this pit stop as he makes his way around this long sweeping going underneath the uh, the track now then let's see where Alonso and Raikkonen are going to rejoin now then as he will um, come out of the pits then as uh, Fernando Alonso rejoins in 10th position in front of Daniel Ricardo. so that's that for him, really. Here comes Charles Leclerc as he tries to fend off now from Brendan Hartley. Hartley all over the backside of the Monogas. Will Hartley try and get the move done on Charles Leclerc into the bus stop chicane? Hartley looks to the inside of Leclerc into the chicane. Can he get the move done? No, he can't. Leclerc shuts the door and holds on to Hartley as a result. It now brings Giovinazzi closer to that scrap as Giovinazzi's been making progress uh, through the field. Ocon has disposed of, Dis of Dixon on team by the cameras as he's now chasing down Vandon for 17th. Raikkonen rejoins in 19th. Ocon is coming in at the end of this lap so um, Ocon will be pitting. Vandon goes defensive. Can't feel the pressure from Ocon but Ocon unable to find a way through into that bus stop chicane. Hamilton staying out for another lap so uh, we'll see if he's going to be pitting next lap anyway so he'll come up now then towards the final corner. Is Hamilton going to be pitting at the end of the next lap then? On lap number 18, let's have a look. And no, he won't. He'll be staying out for another lap. He even sets another fastest lap at 1 minute 35.447 there for Lewis Hamilton. So Hamilton doing a little lap before he makes his scheduled stop. As he makes it around turns two and three now then on the track. Heading down the hill towards the bus stop chicane on the track as he as Sparks come off the back of his Etihad racing car through the left, right, and then up towards the hairpin. We will now go. As Hamilton makes his way around the long sweeping. Uh, left-hander on the track as he continues to lead away at the moment. Perez currently second, but I think he'll probably be pitting at the same time as Lewis Hamilton. It looks good for him to get some points in the bag as Massa's in for a scheduled stop for Monster Grand Prix. So Felipe Massa in. Through goes Alonso and Ricardo, And uh, let's see where Massa is going to rejoin then after this uh, pit stop for his first of two scheduled stops. Quite a long stop, of course, the first stop is. And uh, he finishes off his stop. Let's see where Massa is going to rejoin as he goes trundling down pit lane uh, let's see whether he will join us he'll soon flick off the pit limiter which he does heading down the hill to go underneath the track so underneath the track then goes Massa as Jones is into the pits for Mars Grand Prix as Massa makes his way out of the track now then as he comes out of turn number three now then as uh, Ocon's now into the pits himself so Massa rejoins 15th in front of Van Dorn as Ocon uh, comes in as does Jones. Uh, Ocon will have to wait a little bit longer if he wants to leap for Van Dorn because Van Dorn is on a one-stop strategy in the AMP, so he's doing a similar strategy to what Max Verstappen is doing. Jones and Ocon finish their stop. They stay in their relatively positions, and they'll rejoin at the back of the pack. Ocon will start to chase down uh, Jones in a little bit, and there will be a lap down. As Hamilton now will be pitting at the end of this lap, there's Lewis Hamilton pitting for his scheduled stop of the Grand Prix, and he even set another fastest lap as well. So Hamilton setting fastest lap after fastest lap in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix is absolutely flying at the front as he looks to wrap up his first world championship here today as he will now approach the left-right chicane on the track now. Then through the left, then the right, and then up towards the hairpin we go. And Perez also pitting, so he will be pitting at the same time as Lewis Hamilton. That will leave Verstappen to take the lead because he's on a one-stop strategy. Uh, so the, the likes of Hulkenberg, who's pitting the end of this lap, including Verline, and a few others behind are also scheduled to make a second uh, their first stop in a little bit. So uh, Verstappen will be quite lonely for a while, it must be said, I would think. And uh, we'll, once he takes the lead temporarily from, well, takes the lead of the race as he tries to make this one stop work in the hopes of trying to get his first legit IFMC victory as he was robbed of a victory in San Marino. And it was all looking good for him to get the dream victory. And um, so that's that then really as far as they're concerned. So Hamilton will be pitting at the end of this lap. Verstappen looking to try and get the victory that he lost at the San Marino Grand Prix when he led the race. But mechanical problems put pay to him there then. And uh, he's hoping to try and make this one stop work in order to get his first legit IFMC GP victory. See, Grand Prix victory, I should say. As meantime, Hamilton approaching the hotel section as Dixon is now into the pits for his scheduled stop. As he will go underneath the, uh, the hotel section here at the Yas Marina. 
coming off the turn now then before approaching the final two corners on the track Hamilton now then Around the right hander he goes, he will peel to the right, which he does into the pits then. Comes Lewis Hamilton for his first of two scheduled stops, as uh, he will put on a fresh set of tyres and fuel. And uh, let's see where he's going to be joining after this stop. Also coming in will be Sergio Perez for El Dorado, so he'll be coming in this lap as well. As the El Dorado mechanics are spawned, as Perez is now coming in, there he is in the back room, you can just see in the mirror there, of Lewis Hamilton. And uh, let's see how quick the stop will be then for Hamilton now then. And it is a 15.4 second stop. He is scheduled to make his own stop around about lap 44. Uh, Verstappen should take the lead temporarily. Will take the lead now, which he does on his one and as he's on a one-stop strategy. Through goes Verline, but he's scheduled to make a stop. Hulkenberg in for EMR. Let's see what Hamilton will be joining then. He goes underneath the whole track to go on to the other side. Let's see where Hamilton rejoins then after this pit stop. Alonso is coming up towards turn one. He'll still be out in front of these guys. It's not a worry for him. So Hamilton rejoins in fourth ahead of Alonso and Ricardo. So they're fifth and sixth. Perez finishes his stop. Where's he going to come out? As he comes up the hill now then onto the other side of the track. And Perez is going to rejoin. Let's see. He rejoins in seventh position in front of Charles Leclerc. So P7 for Sergio Perez. Uh, so Leclerc is also on a one stop so he's looking for points Hartley's coming in the man that's pressuring him for a pit stop as will Giovinazzi and Magnussen Hulkenberg finishes his stop where's the German going to rejoin then as he comes out of pit lane he rejoins in 12th position in front of Felipe Massa who's already made a stop so Hulkenberg rejoining in 12th after the pit stop as Sainz rejoins 15th then just in front of Vandon who's on a one and only stop but let's see if Vandon can find a way through into the bus stop chicane now then down the inside he goes on Carlos Sainz is it going to be the move paid off no it won't Sainz shuts the door and holds on to 15th place from Stoffel van Dorn at the moment as uh, Grosjean is not expected to make a pit stop uh, in a bit uh, on this lap of course his teammates coming in this lap as Verstappen now leads the race on his one and only strategies he looks to try and get his first legit victory in IFMC but he's also got the pressure of the two stoppers trying to see if he can ruin his strategy at the moment as Verstappen now makes his way up towards the second to last corner now then as uh, he now rounds the final corner and onto the pit straight as Verstappen now starts lap 21 at 55 is into the pits comes Pascal Verlein for a temporary second place Valtteri Bottas also coming in as well for El Dorado so both of them are in and let's see how quick the stop will be then for Pascal Verlein as he puts on a fresh set of tyres and fuel now then through will go uh, Hamilton, Alonso and Ricardo, I would think. And um, so let's see where they rejoin. And yes, they're through into second, third and fourth. Hamilton will try and chase down the one stopping for Stappen if he can to try and see if he can make his two stop strategy work. Verline finishes his pit stop as does Valtteri Bottas where the pair of them going to rejoin as they flick off the pit limiter as they go underneath the track. Hartley in for his scheduled stop in the monster car. Let's see then. Verline is going to rejoin. Let's see. As Magnussen's also in for so I mean I think Giovinazzi is as well. And yes, he is. As uh, Verline rejoins in seventh position. As uh, Bottas rejoins in ninth, just behind Nico Hulkenberg. So that's where Bottas comes out. So that's that for him, really, as far as they're concerned. Giovinazzi, where's he going to rejoin then the Bud Light line? There's also behind him we have Kevin Magnussen. As they go down the pit lane now then, where are the pair of them going to rejoin as they go underneath the track to get onto the other side? And let's see then, Giovinazzi and Magnussen are going to rejoin as they make their way out of the pit lane. They're going to rejoin in 16th and 17th. Hartley's going to rejoin in 18th in front of Ocon now then. So Ocon has still a bit to do, try and catch up to these guys. But they finish off their pit stop. Uh, at this stage of the Grand Prix. Anybody else making a pit stop very soon? Doesn't look like it. Not for a long time at least. The one stoppers of Leclerc and Verstappen will probably pit at around about... Well, Leclerc's carrying around about two litres less than Verstappen. So I'd expect the one stopper to make this stop around about uh, lap 32, perhaps to 35. So that's where we'll probably see the one stoppers make their stop during this Grand Prix. But for now, Verstappen... Leads the race, but Hamilton trying to close them in. What's the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen at this stage? You're on lap 22 of 55 in this Grand Prix. 20, uh, I think that's um, uh, 34 laps remaining. 7.9 seconds is the gap between Verstappen and Hamilton at this stage of the Grand Prix as Hamilton makes his way down towards the bus stop chicane now. Then on the track as they go through the right and then up towards the hairpin. 
We will now go as uh, Hamilton makes his way around the long sweeping left-hander. As they now go down the long straight before approaching the left and right-hander on the track. As there's Verstappen still leading the way at this stage. As Hamilton tries to get hold of him in front. There's still quite a bit of a gap in front of this stage. Through the left and right-hander we go. Uh, so they use the curb on the outside as Grosjean's in now then for his scheduled stops so Roman Grosjean into the pits for the second time today the question is is he actually fueling to the end of the race that's what I want to know in fact uh, let's have a look no he isn't uh, he's going to actually do a free stop in this race then so we'd be pitting at around about uh, I would say around about lap 41 uh, for his third and final stop so a race wreck then for Roman Grosjean so he will rejoin right down to the back of the pack I would presume so that's that then really. Here's Verstappen still leading the way at this stage of the Grand Prix as he makes his way up towards the double uh, right-handers. The final two turns on the track. Around the final turn and onto the pitch straight goes Max Verstappen as they make their way down towards the left-hander on the track through turn one. Sparks coming off the back of Verstappen's car now then as he makes his way through turns two and three. And now around the long sweeping right hand he will go heading down towards the bus stop chicane he will go and uh, through the left then the right and then up towards the hairpin we will soon go so around this left hand we go on the track as they come down the uh, the long long straight now then this is Dixon currently 21st uh, at the minute as we sap and will now approach the left right chicane on the track and uh, he'll be coming up to lap some traffic. There's Hamilton in the background. I didn't quite see what the gap was last time around, so I do apologize. I'll try and remember this lap. Ricardo still within touching distance of Alonso, but not up to the Spaniard uh, at this stage of the race as they make their way up towards the left right chicane. So out of the turn, then we go as Hamilton tries to close down on Verstappen in front of him at this stage of the Grand Prix as we now approach the left right left chicane. Uh, on the track as Sparks come off the back of the Etihad car now then round the left then the right and then into the left hander goes Lewis Hamilton as he will now go through the next left hander on the track coming off the turn using a tad bit of curb on the outside as they make their way around the triple uh, right hander now then up towards the right hander we go and they'll go underneath the hotel section in a little bit Hamilton coming off the turn, heading in towards the next left hander we go as they'll soon approach the last two turns on the track. Into the second to last corner and then up towards the final corner goes uh, Lewis Hamilton as they now come off the turn himself as he will now head down the pit straight before approaching turns one, two and three. And we'll have a look and see what's the gap between Verstappen and Hamilton this time by as we now have 32 laps remaining. Eight seconds is the gap. Uh, between them at this stage. Um, i trying to think if, he actually, if Verstappen actually increased the gap in front there by a tenth. I'm not 100% sure on that. So we'll check up again uh, to see what's going on on the next lap now then as we go in towards the left-handed hairpin on the track heading down the pitch straight before approaching the left-right chicane on the track. As Verstappen is now coming up towards the traffic as he continues to lead the way out in front through the left and right hander he will go and now coming off the turn heading down the support pit straight as they'll soon approach the left right left chicane uh, on the track and uh, Verstappen now then approaches the corner in towards the left and then in towards the right hander he goes and then into the left again Verstappen continuing to build a gap out in front of the moment well still leading the race as you say I don't know if he's actually building a gap uh, we'll have to wait and see on the next lap to see what the case is on that. Through the triple right hander then goes Max Verstappen. As he will now approach the hotel section through the right. And then into the left hander we go. As uh, Verstappen now then makes his way around this left hander. Up towards the final two turns we go on the track. And uh, Verstappen still uh, leading the way. As he now comes up to that bit of traffic. Let's see. This could actually hold up for Sappen in the way. So this could be quite uh, irrelevant it must be said. So, But we'll see what the gap is like anyway. As they come around the final turn and onto the pit straight. So let's see then the gap between Hamilton 
and Verstappen this time by as they make the way round turn one. And the gap now being with 31 laps remaining, 7.5 seconds. So Hamilton is taking five tenths uh, for Verstappen's lead there. That might be because of the traffic. So we'll wait and see on this lap to see if Hamilton is still gaining onto Verstappen at this point of the race as Alonso makes his way around the swooping uh, right-handers now. Then the gap between him and Ricardo is 2.1 seconds. So that's how that looks at this stage as they now make their way into the bus stop chicane through the left, then the right, and then up towards the hairpin we will soon go. As they make their way around the swooping left-hander, heading down the long straight. As uh, they will soon make their way into the left-right chicane uh, on the track. As uh, Ricardo tries to get hold of Alonso in front of him. But so far, he's just a little bit too far in front for him to try and get at the moment. Into the left-right chicane we go then. Through the left, then into the right we go. Ricardo currently fourth at the moment. As they go down this long straight... And now into the uh, the left, right, left chicane on the track. And uh, Ricardo still keeping within touching distance at the moment in this Grand Prix compared to himself and uh, Fernando Alonso. As Ricardo now then approaches the 90 degree left hander on the track as he uses a tad bit of curb on the outside in towards the triple right hander we go. And uh, so Ricardo now then through. The right-hander and then into the next left-hander he goes. Uh, so Ricardo now then going around the left-hander as he will soon approach the final two turns on the track now then. Into the second to last corner. And in fact, what's the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen this time by through turn one? And it's 7.3 seconds. Hamilton is, is still quitting the gap. It's now down to two tenths of a second as Verstappen gets away from that bit of traffic. Hamilton will soon be approaching Dixon in a little bit. The gap between Ricardo and uh, Alonso is two seconds. So in fact, Ricardo has taken, I think, a tenth out of Alonso's lead that time by. So, so Ricardo started to gain a little bit onto Fernando Alonso as they now make their way into the left. Right hand, there's out goes Pascal Verline. Verline is out of the race. What has happened to the German? And uh, there he is. It's a puncher for Pascal Verline. He was making his way back to the pits. And he just didn't make it in time. And, uh, well, it looked like the uh, the problem got too terminal for him to turn. Uh, damage his suspension quite severely. So, as a result, Pascal Verline is out of the Grand Prix. And we're down to 20 runners in this uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So, in a way, for EMR, a bit of karma for what happened on the first lap. But the incident is still under investigation between Vettel and Verline on the first lap there then. So... That's that for them, really. But so far, no other incidents has happened during the Grand Prix. So everybody else, apart from that first lap, has kept it very cleanly, it must be said. So very good sportsmanship from everybody here today. As now around the left and right hand, we will go as Ricardo tries to get hold of um, of Alonso in front as they make their way down the uh, support pit straight before approaching the chicane. And uh, so now in towards the chicane we go. Through the left, then the right, and then into the left hander we go. Ricardo still trying to put some pressure on Fernando Alonso in front of him. As uh, Ricardo makes his way out of the turn now, then in towards the triple right hander we go. As uh, Ricardo now then in towards the 90 degree right hander he goes. As he still tries to cut the gap between himself and Fernando Alonso in front. It was two seconds last time around, let's not forget. And we'll see if that gets cut down in a little bit now then what's the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen Hamilton getting close to that back of the traffic of Dixon but not to the point where he's being held up as of yet now then as they come off the turn as uh, it is 7.6 seconds so in fact Verstappen is up the pace by three tenths of a second so Verstappen starting to lap a little bit quicker than Hamilton that time by and it doesn't even look like the Hamilton is even um, being held up by traffic so so far Verstappen making his one-stop strategy work to perfection uh, so in around about eight laps time, I would think he'll make his first ra his f one and only stop of the Grand Prix. He's got around about 10.2 litres left in the tank as he looks to try and get his first legit victory of the season. And Martinez as well. And that would definitely help him out in their battle with AMP in the Constructors' Championship. Through the left and right hander we go as they just come off the turn for Tappen trying to pull a lap on Ed Jones if he can. As uh, he goes through there, which he does. So Verstappen putting a lap there on Ed Jones as he will now approach the left right left chicane on the track through the left then the right and then into the left hander we will soon go 
as uh, now Verstappen makes his way around this left hand on the track using a tad bit of curve on the left hand side there as he makes his way around the triple uh, right hander on the track and uh, so around the hotel section we will go as he goes underneath the, the hotel round the left hander we go as uh, Verstappen now then approaches the final two turns and we'll have a look and see again what the gap is like between him and Lewis Hamilton Hamilton puts a lap on Dixon that might cost him a little bit more time now to Max Verstappen in trying to ensure he can get this two-stop strategy to, to work compared to Max Verstappen up towards the final corner we go and on to the pit straight and let's see the gap then between Hamilton and Verstappen this time by now then as we start lap 28 of 55 in this Grand Prix so we now have specifically um, 28 laps remaining in the Grand Prix now then so I think 28 laps remaining I could be wrong on that uh, yeah 28 laps remaining in the Grand Prix and I've kind of missed the gap there between himself and Hamilton you guys read the gap anyway so um, we'll have a look again in a little bit Ricardo looks like he's dropped back now from Alonso because that looks like more than two seconds from the last time we checked on these guys so Ricardo starting to look like he's gonna settle into a little bit of a rhythm now then before his second round of pit stop the second stop of the afternoon as Ricardo comes out of the uh, the left hander on the track as he makes his way down the long straight before approaching the uh, chicane as here come as here's Leclerc who's also on a one stop looking to get shadow some points if he can he's not that far back from the guy he's going to be replacing at El Dorado next season Sergio Perez who's moving to Bud Light Lime next season so as that really is now in towards the left right chicane then goes Perez as uh, he continues to try and try and hold off this fifth place during the race and get some points for El Dorado on the board now then as he makes his way down the support pitch trip for approaching the left right left chicane on the track now then up towards the chicane we go through the left then the right and then into the left hander goes Sergio Perez as now we approach the next left hander on the track as uh, Perez comes off the turn before approaching the triple right hander so through the triple right hander we go and then in towards the next 90 degree right hander before approaching the hotel section let's see the gap then between Hamilton and Verstappen this time by lap 29 of 55 uh, we are now on then so 10, 26 laps so sorry 27 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and we're still here to get the one stoppers and the second round of stops out of the way before we get to the end of the Grand Prix 9.6 seconds so Verstappen has increased the gap by a whole margin at the moment as he look as he looks like Max is pushing very hard to try and make this one stop work out uh, to perfection Verstappen doing an absolutely fantastic job and flying out there at the moment as he continues to stretch his advantage ahead of the two stop in Lewis Hamilton up towards the left and right hander we will go on the track now then Verstappen through the left and then into the right hander he goes as he uses a tad bit of curb on the outside heading down the support pitch straight before approaching the left right left chicane uh, on the track and I didn't mention this in the GP3 in the uh, GP2 race but I will mention it as well uh, in IFMC GP3 AYP will be releasing Antonio Fawako and Santina Ferrucci um, for next season so the pair that will not be joining AYP next season in GP3 so the team will be looking for two new drivers for next season's GP3 championship uh, I've just remembered that while I've got that in the back of my head. So that was the news for IFMC GP3 as far as they're concerned. Meantime, back to real time. Verstappen still leading the way. We'll have a look and see if he's still increasing the gap between himself and Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton coming up to some more traffic in the form of Ed Jones's mask on pre-car. Hamilton now then round the left-hander going under the hotel. As he flicks through the corner now then before he approaches the last two turns on the track now. Then up towards the second to last corner goes Lewis Hamilton. And let's see the gap then between Hamilton and Verstappen at this point as they go down the pitch straight now then the gap between them is now let's have a look with 26 laps remaining up towards turn one we go we're one minute away from the three o'clock mark and we're an hour away from the World Cup final between France and, uh, and Croatia 10 seconds exactly now the gap between Verstappen and Hamilton Verstappen just absolutely flying out there at the minute in this race he is just continuing to pull the gap between himself and Lewis Hamilton Hamilton trying everything to make this one stop work out uh, in the end there then so that's that really as far as he's concerned around about I would say around about four to five laps time we will see Max Verstappen making his one and only stop of the afternoon and uh, and probably in around about uh, a 
a couple of laps or so, we'll see Charles Leclerc make his one and only stop. He's got 5.2 litres, so in around about two or three laps, we'll see Leclerc make his um, make his uh, one and only stop of the afternoon. It's out goes Valtteri Bottas. Valtteri Bottas is out of the Grand Prix. What's happened to Bottas? And there he is. And uh, he has uh, he's crashed it at the exit of the hotel section in the same place where Yuri Vips crashed out earlier in the GP2 race. And, uh, well... That's that for Bottas, really. What looked to be a good chance for double points for Eldorado has come to nothing. Valtteri Bottas is out of the race, and we're down to 19 runners here at Abu Dhabi. And, uh, well, that's Bottas's race done with as a result as he smacks it into the wall at the exit of the hotel section. So, that's Bottas's race done with as a result, and we're down to 19 runners in this uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Meantime, here's Verstappen continuing to fly out on track at the moment as we now go underneath the hotel section of the track round the left hand there we go as we now approach the final two turns uh, on the track now then and we'll have a look and see the gap this time by Hamilton now coming up to that bit of traffic so we'll lose a little bit more time as a result this is falling into place for team boss Cameron Anderson at this stage of Martini Motorsport so uh, this is what he exactly needed at this point. Round the final corner goes Lewis Hamilton. And let's see the gap between Verstappen and Hamilton at this point now then. As they come up now then towards the first corner. As he's being held up a bit more now then by the hometown favourite, Ed Jones. Uh, the Emirates having a, a driver to support and a team to support as well. Etihad Racing and Ed Jones as Hamilton struggling to lap the hometown favourite Ed Jones. 11.2 seconds now the gap between Verstappen. I wouldn't be surprised if he's lost a little bit more as a result of the uh, as a result of trying to lap Jones there. But he's finally able to do it at the bus stop. So uh, that's that for him really as I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. I do apologise for that guys. As uh, Leclerc is staying out so probably next lap or the lap after. He will make his uh, one and only stop of the afternoon. He's got a 9.8 second lead in front of Nico Hulkenberg. He looks to add some more points to Shadow, Ray, to Shadow Mercedes' points account. As uh, if it stays like this, they will overtake Monster Grand Prix in the Constructors' Championship in their battle for ninth. So if he can make this one-stop strategy work, Shadow could overtake Monster in the Constructors' Championship. So it would be a good race for the clerk as he qualified all the way down in 15th place. So, a good race for the Monogasque, nonetheless. Uh, so, we ride on board with Charles Leclerc as he enjoys his final two races with Shadow Mercedes before moving to El Dorado next season. Through the left and right hander he goes. As uh, Leclerc comes off the turn, heading down the support pit straight before approaching the next chicane on the track. And uh, Leclerc doing all he can to get hold of Perez in front of him at the moment. Through the left. Right and left-hander he will go. Uh, so Leclerc now then will approach the 90 degree, next 90 degree left-hander. Using a tad bit of curb on the outside in towards the triple right-hander we will go. As Leclerc now then approaches that right-hander. Out of the turn he goes now then as he goes underneath the hotel section of the track. And now... We'll have a look and see. We'll have a look and see if he's going to be pitting at the end of the next lap. Then, so we look in the cockpit. I'll shout Leclerc as he comes around the final two turns on the track. Let's see. Is Leclerc going to be pitting at the end of lap 32 once he crosses the line? Let's have a look. Keep an eye on the bottom right of your screen. Is Leclerc pitting in this lap? And no, he's not. He's going to stay out for another lap and probably pit on the next lap then for his one and only stop as he just comes out of turn one and then he comes up towards turns two and three on the track now. Then, so around the section of corners. He will now go as he will now approach the bus stop chicane. Round the left, right, and then in towards the hairpin he will soon go. As out goes Kevin Magnussen. Magnussen is out of the race. What has happened to the Sawomi driver? Uh, K-Mag is out. What has happened to him? And there it is. It's a loose wheel that's taken care of Kevin Magnussen's race. Kevin Magnussen is out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And we're now down to, uh, to 18 runners in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And uh, Raikkonen now the only remaining Suomi left in the Grand Prix. As uh, Paris has just lapped uh, Dixon there. So Leclerc gaining a little bit there onto Sergio Perez as a result. So um, that's that for him really as far as he's concerned. Alonso coming up to traffic. But uh, Ricardo at the moment not really taking full advantage of it at this stage of the Grand Prix. As they make their way round the left, right, left chicane. On the track as Alonso now approaches the left-hander. 
as he comes off the turn using a tad bit of curb on the left hand side there as uh, well the right hand side when we're reviewing him that time by through the triple right hand there we go uh, so now we go around these section of corners and uh, so now underneath the hotel we go Alonso now then approaching the final two turns on the track as he finally puts a lap on uh, in fact that's Ed Jones in fact I do apologize it's Jones that Alonso's put a lap on a bit awkwardly there could Ricardo take advantage no he's having to slow down a bit because he doesn't want a cream cracker into the back of either one of these two in front of him so that will cost him any chance of trying to chase down Alonso so uh, he has to hang back for the moment as Alonso now puts a lap on Ed Jones here's Charles Leclerc will he be pitting at the end of lap 33 Let's see now then as he will approach the final corner on the track. Let's see if Charles Leclerc is going to be pitting at the end of this lap for his scheduled stop. Down the pit straight and across the line. Let's see. And he is. So Charles Leclerc will be pitting at the end of this lap for his scheduled stop of the Grand Prix as he'll be putting on a fresh set of tyres and fuel now then. In towards turns two and three we will go on the track. As uh, so Leclerc swoops around the right hand heading down the hill towards the bus stop chicane on the track now then. Through the left, then the right, and then up towards the hairpin will go Charles Leclerc. As uh, so now he makes his way around the long sweeping uh, left hander. As Van Dorn is into the pits for his scheduled stop. So Stoffel Van Dorn in for his one and only stop. Let's see how quick the stop is going to be then for Stoffel Van Dorn. As a clear wipe of the visor there then for the Belgian as he puts on a fresh set of tyres and fuel. As we have now, uh, including this lap, 23 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And it is a 14.9 second stop for Stoffel van Dorn. Let's see where the Belgian will come out. As uh, he will flick off the pit limiter in a little bit. He goes down the hill to go underneath the track. Which he will do. And he'll come out on the other side. As uh, now he comes out then. So out on the track then goes Stoffel van Dorn. And let's see where he's going to be joining. He joins just in front of Esteban Ocon. So Ocon wasn't able to leapfrog him from a little bit earlier on. Ocon on the two stops. And Van Dorn has stayed out in front of Esteban Ocon. As Grosjean's not that far behind them. Is Verstappen still leading the way? Let's have a look at the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen. And then we'll look to Leclerc when he pits for his one and only stop. And it's 13 point. 13 and a half seconds as Max Verstappen continues to fly out on track to make this one stop strategy work. Meantime, here comes Leclerc. Speaking of one stoppers, going to the right and into the pits comes Charles Leclerc from sixth place. He looks to try and get some points for Shannon Mercedes on the board as the Shannon Mechanics wait for him to serve him at this stage as he'll pull on a fresh set of tyres and fuel. As he will peel into his box, as uh, he putting on a fresh set of tyres and fuel he goes. A quick wipe of the visor for Charles Leclerc as he's now fueled to the end of the Grand Prix. But let's see how quick the stop will be then for the Monegasque as um, he's about to finish off his stop. And it is a 14.7 second stop from the Shadow Mechanics. Where's Leclerc going to come out now then? As he trundles down pit lane, flicks off the pit limiter as he goes down the hill towards the left-hander. And uh, now... Round the right he goes as he will now go up the hill. And Leclerc is going to rejoin in 11th place just in front of Antonio Giovinazzi. So 11th place for Charles Leclerc. So that's his pit stop now then. As so we'll have a look and see. Verstappen, is he going to be pitting at the end of the next lap? And at this point, Hamilton will have to start to get his foot down if he wants to make his two-stop strategy work. Otherwise, it could fall into place for Max Verstappen and the Martini Motorsport boys. He's Verstappen pitting at the end of this lap. Yes, he is. Verstappen pit will be pitting at the end of this lap from the lead for his one and only stop of the Grand Prix. So now Verstappen up towards turns two and three he will go as he's also coming up to a bit more traffic as well as he heads down the hill towards the bus stop chicane in towards the left and right hander he goes as he flicks the car through these section of corners up towards the hairpin goes Max Verstappen. As he just comes out of the, t going down the straight he goes before approaching the left right chicane on the track now then. And uh, so Verstappen now then up towards the left right chicane we will go. And uh, Verstappen just making his way around the section of the corners through the left then the right as he will now come off the turn as he will make his way down towards the left right chicane on the track now then. As uh, Verstappen tries to get up to Grosjean if he can to try and pull a lap on him. But he is pitting at the end of this lap so he won't need to worry about the Frenchman for too long. As he just goes around 
these section of corners are then up towards the left hand there he goes as he comes off the turn using a tad bit of curb on the uh, the right hand side there as we were viewing him through the triple right hander and this lap of course Verstappen is pitting at the end of this lap through the right and then in towards the left hander he will go as he will now come off the turn in towards the next left hander he goes as he will now approach the final two turns on the track now then Grosjean going through the second to last turn as does Verstappen as he will peel to the right which he does into the pits then comes Max Verstappen from the lead of the race he'll give the lead back to Lewis Hamilton but Hamilton will now need to push for the next few laps if he wants to win the race and make his two stop strategy work so this is going to be quite crucial for Etihad in his next few laps as Verstappen now into the pits for his one and only stop of the afternoon now then as he's now fueled to the end of the race a quick wipe of the visor for the Dutchman let's see how quick the stop will be. Hamilton takes the lead of the race now then. But where's Verstappen going to rejoin now then? It's a 13.7 second start. Through goes Alonso. Through goes Ricardo. As uh, now Verstappen goes trundling down pit lane. As he now flicks off the pit limiter. And let's see where Man Max is going to come out. As he goes underneath the whole track now then. Will he come out in front of Perez? Or will Perez be out in front of him after the stop? Uh, Perez could help out Hamilton at this stage to go around the left hand. It's going to be close between the pair of them, but uh, it will be Perez that will be in front. So Verstappen rejoins in fifth, just behind Perez. But Verstappen knows he doesn't have to stop again. And uh, now he's starting to close down on Perez if he can for fourth place in this Grand Prix. And uh, pretty much breaking that tad a bit later than him into the bus stop chicane. So is that all the one stop is done? Uh, I think it is at that point. So Hamilton now then leads the race again. But he needs to start pushing now if he wants to make his two-stop strategy work. And try and get his first Abu Dhabi Grand Prix victory in IFMC. And, uh, but either way, if he doesn't win, it doesn't matter. Because he's still ahead of Alonso in this race. And uh, if he can just keep this up, he's still looking good to wrap up the championship here today. As he now comes up towards the triple right-hander on the track. Through the right he goes. Through these right-handers before approaching the hotel section. On the track now then, into the next, next left hander he goes, going underneath the crossover where the hotel is, and uh, now in towards the final two turns. On the track we go, uh, so here's Alonso in second, Ricardo starting to drop back a bit more it must be said to Alonso, but we'll have a look at the gap anyway and see what's going on, and then we'll go to the battle between Perez and Verstappen, Verstappen all over the backside of Perez. At this stage of the race now then. Ricardo coming around the final turn and onto the pit straight. What's the gap between Ricardo and Alonso at this stage of the Grand Prix? As they make their way down towards turn one on the track now. And then 19 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Two seconds exactly is the gap between Alonso and Ricardo at this stage. Meantime, back to this battle before between Verstappen and Perez. Perez coming up to traffic, which is helping out Verstappen. In, in a way, I suppose. Coming off of turn one, Verstappen all over the backside of Perez at this station. They go around turns two and three. Verstappen wants to win this race. Round the right hand, and we go to go down the hill towards the bus stop chicane. Will Verstappen find a way through on Perez? And he's not close enough, doesn't have enough momentum to get a hold of Perez into the bus stop chicane. So has to hang back uh, for the moment. He'll probably try and get him onto the straight if he can. Through the left hand, there we go. As uh, Perez now then tries to see if he can try and lap the Mars Grand Prix car in front of the underpower with the underpowered Porsche engine. And uh, so now heading down the long straight we will go. And uh, in towards the left right chicane we will soon go on the track now then. As Perez now then was able to keep ahead of Verstappen going in towards this left right chicane on the track. And uh, and uh, so... Now, now coming down the straight, then we go and uh, in towards the next section of corners. We will go on the track now, then through the left, then the right, and then into the left hander. We go as Verstappen now then tries to get hold of Sergio Perez in front of him at this stage. As uh, Perez now then puts a lap on Ed Jones. Will Jones be kind to Verstappen as well? And it doesn't look like it. So uh, this could really help Lewis Hamilton in trying to stay in front of Verstappen after his second stop of the afternoon. So Perez has now put a car between himself and uh, Max Verstappen in this Grand Prix. Uh, so Verstappen now then puts a lap on Ed Jones coming off the exit of the hotel section. As now he'll have to do all the hard work again in trying to chase down uh, Sergio Perez in front of him at the moment. As he makes his way round the final turn and onto the pitch straight he will go. 
uh, some me time. Here's Lewis Hamilton, probably realising he got held up by Jones. So this is all the help he probably needs right now if he wants to win this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. As he goes down the long straight and out in on the track before approaching the left-right chicane on the track. I'll expect Hamilton to pit for his second stop in around about six laps time. So lap 44 of the Grand Prix. We should see Hamilton make his second and final stop of the afternoon. So he'll do it with 12 laps remaining in the Grand Prix. As Hamilton now goes out of that right hand and heading down the support pit straight on the track now then. As he will soon approach the left-right left chicane on the track. As Hamilton now then breaks into these sections of corners now then through the left, then the right, and then into the left hand that he will go on the track now then up towards the final corner goes Lewis Hamilton as he flicks the car in using a tad bit of curb on the right hand side there through the triple right hander. We will go and uh, in towards the next 90 degree right hander which is, takes them right where the hotel is as Hamilton will go underneath this hotel into the next left hander he goes as they will soon approach the final two turns on the track now then and they're up towards the final corner we'll have a look and see what the gap is like between him and Alonso at this stage as Hamilton starts lap 39 and 55 in this Grand Prix so 17 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix through turn one we go and uh, let's see then 6.2 seconds is a gap between Hamilton and Alonso at this stage of the Grand Prix as uh, Verstappen tries to chase back down Perez if he can but so far not really gaining onto him as much as he would have anticipated after being held up by Jones uh, a little bit earlier on as he comes down the pitch straight tries everything he can to try and get hold of Perez in front of him uh, at the moment down towards turn one we go as uh, Max Verstappen comes out of turn one and eager towards turns two and three on the track as Verstappen makes his way around a long swooping Right hander going down the hill towards the bus stop chicane. He will go as he will now go through the left, right, and then in towards the hairpin. We will go and uh, now through the left hander as they go down the straight. Now they're on the track, and uh, as you can see, still got quite a bit to try and close up onto Perez at this stage of the Grand Prix. So at the moment, things could go away for Hamilton. I think it's too tight to tell at this stage, so we'll wait and see. Once Hamilton makes his pit stop as he makes his way around the long swooping left hander. Now then meantime, Ocon not really getting onto Vandal as much as you would anticipate. As Grosjean's also starting to gain as well. As the pair of them now go up towards the uh, the final two turns on the track now then. Up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight goes um, goes uh, Roman Grosjean as he will soon approach the first few corners on the track now then. Into turn one we go. And then soon will be turns two and three. Uh, so now through turn two. And then into turn three goes Grosjean. Uh, so he goes down the hill towards the bus stop chicane. As uh, so he's a little bit further back from Ocon, his fellow compatriot at this stage. Meantime, here's Giovinazzi trying to chase down the one stop in Leclerc. But I think we know that Giovinazzi is also scheduled to make a second stop in a little bit. So Leclerc won't need to worry too much about the Italian at this stage of the Grand Prix. As now we will approach the left, right, left chicane on the track now then. Through the left, then the right, and then into the left hander we will go. As uh, Giovinazzi now then approaches this next left hander. Using the curb on the outside there then. As it will go around the triple right hander on the track. And now up towards the hotel section we go. Through the right, and then into the left hander we go. And uh, so now Giovinazzi will approach the next left hander before approaching the final two turns on the track. What's the gap between him and Leclerc this time by as they will come up towards the final corner? And the gap between them is now, let's have a look as they come down the pit straight. The gap being, and across the line they go, in towards turn one, 16 laps to go in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The gap being 1.4 seconds. That's how it looks as uh, Giovinazzi has a 6.7 second lead in front of Brendan Hartley at the moment. As Giovinazzi goes down the hill towards the bus stop chicane at the minute as they go through the left, right and then in towards the hairpin he will soon go on the track now then. Around the left hand if he goes and he will go down the straight towards the uh, the left right chicane. Here's Raikkonen currently 10th at the moment. Uh, so here's Carlos Sainz currently 9th and um, as you can see here's Hamilton still leading the way. 
at the moment as he makes his way through turns two and three very soon. <clears throat> as uh, Hamilton now then heads down towards the bus stop chicane on the track through the left, then the right, and then up towards the left hander we will go. And uh, so that's that then really as they go down the uh, the long straight before approaching the uh, chicane as now uh, they will approach the chicane very soon as Alonso is pitting at the end of this lap then so Fernando Alonso is pitting at the end of lap 41 of 55 and is Ricardo as well no Ricardo is going to be staying out around and he'll probably be pitting at around about the same time Hamilton is so Alonso pitting and it looks like Ricardo is starting to gain on Alonso again so Ricardo hoping he can get the jump on Alonso in the pits we've got some pit activity I think uh, who's in the pits it's Carlos Sainz Jr for Shadow Mercedes so Sainz in for his scheduled stop as he will put on a fresh set of tyres and fuel which will take him now to the end of the Grand Prix and let's see where Sainz is going to rejoin now then it is an 11.6 second stop for Carlos Sainz Jr as he will now flick off the pit limiter and where Sainz going to rejoin and it'll soon go underneath the track which will take him onto the other side and uh, let's see then Rosenquist is going to rejoin let's see as he makes his way around the left hander he rejoins in 13th position still in front of uh, in front of Stoffel van Dorn at this stage so Sainz finishes his pit stop Grosjean in as he looks to try and leapfrog Ocon if he can uh, after this pit stop and he will rejoin as uh, it looks like that is Alonso that's now in. So Fernando Alonso into the pits for his scheduled stop. Ricardo stays out and he'll be pitting around about the same time as where Hamilton will be. So let's see where Alonso will rejoin then after this pit stop now. Then as he puts on a fresh set of tyres and fuel. Where's Verstappen? It's an 11.2 second stop. Through goes Perez and through will go Verstappen. So Verstappen through into a potential podium place. So, but will it be the lead for Verstappen once Hamilton makes his stop? That is the question as Alonso finishes his stop. He flicks off the pit limiter. And where is Fernando Alonso going to rejoin? As, as a chance for a fourth successive championship is slipping away from the Spaniard. As he goes up the hill towards the left hander, Alonso is going to rejoin in sixth position behind Nico Hulkenberg, who's, scared, who's still yet to make a stop in this Grand Prix. So Alonso rejoins sixth for the moment. Jones and Verne into the pit, so they make their scheduled stop, along with Kimi Raikkonen. So Raikkonen is in for Suomi. And let's see how quick the stops will be for them. GRM, I think, might actually uh, either draw level or overtake Suomi in the Constructors Championship it remains like this but we'll wait and see um, as uh, Vern now then goes down the hill and uh, where's Vern going to rejoin as uh, Raikkonen finishes his pit stop Suomi have had quite a difficult couple of weekends uh, but they're hoping to try and put this behind them and have a very good uh, last weekend of the season at the Pacific Grand Prix in Adelaide as uh, Vern rejoins P11 in front of Sides as Raikkonen rejoins 13th in front of Van Dorn so that's that for them, really, as Hamilton. Is he pitting at the end of the next lap now, then? Let's have a look. And yes, he is. Lewis Hamilton is pitting at the end of lap 43 for his second and final stop. What about Ricardo? Is he going to be doing the same as he comes down the pit straight? And yes, he will be. So both Ricardo and Hamilton are pitting as Ricardo sets the fastest lap. A 1 minute 35.245. So Ricardo, the fastest man out on the track at the minute. As he goes around, turns two and three as he tries to leapfrog Alonso into the pits to try and get himself onto the podium if he can. As he now approaches the bus stop chicane through the left, then the right, and then up towards the hairpin goes Daniel Ricciardo. We're six minutes away from the half past uh, three mark, so we're just over half an hour away from the World Cup final match between France and Croatia. So that's that then, really. As uh, meantime, Perez is pitting the end of this lap, so Verstappen will be released. Uh, so he didn't really gain too much on him. At that point in the race, but he will be ahead of him as Massa's in for his scheduled stop. So Felipe Massa in for his second and final stop of the afternoon. Where is he going to place Massa after his pit stop? And uh, he finishes his pit stop. Where is he going to rejoin then? As he goes trundling down pit lane, and Massa is going to rejoin. Where's Leclerc? Leclerc's going to pass him to get up into seventh place, and he doesn't need to stop against so Leclerc. Looking good for points. In this Grand Prix, through goes Leclerc. Antonio Giovinazzi in for his second and final stop of the afternoon. 
So he makes his pit stop as Massa goes up the hill. Where's he going to rejoin? And he's going to rejoin in eighth position, I would think, just in front of teammate Brendan Hartley, who's, who's yet to make a stop. And in fact, Hartley's pitting at the end of his lap. In fact, Hartley is going to try and attack his teammate into the bus stop. Will Hartley get the move done on Massa? Down the inside, Massa's still sticking with him. And Hartley, I think, has just got the edge on him. And he has. Brendan Hartley takes eighth, but will be pitting anyway. So Massa will be back up to eighth. Once Hartley makes his second and final stop of the afternoon. As Hamilton is in for his scheduled stop. As is Daniel Ricciardo. So both of them are in. Ocon's in for his scheduled stop of the race. And um, let's see. Where is Max Verstappen on the track? Hamilton finishes his pit stop. Verstappen's only coming up towards the second to last corner. This might be enough for Hamilton to keep the lead of the Grand Prix. As Ricciardo also being served as well. Where is Verstappen? Perez is in. Hamilton is coming down the, uh, the the pit exit now. Then Verstappen's only coming up towards turn one. This is going to be close between Hamilton and Verstappen now. Then Hamilton going up the hill. Verstappen round the outside of him. And Verstappen is taking the lead of the race. Verstappen leads. Here at Abu Dhabi, he gets ahead of Hamilton. But Hamilton's not that far in front of him. Hamilton will now try and chase him down and try and get the victory he can. As Ricardo has jumped Alonso in the pit. So Ricardo has gone out in front of Alonso, but Alonso's not having that. He's going to try and attack him into the bus stop chicane. Side by side they go. But Ricardo fends off and holds on to third place. And Alonso now off the podium. Ricardo up into third place. And uh, getting the jump on Alonso. Although he's been jumped by Verstappen, he is still on the podium. But Hamilton is starting to chase down Verstappen for the lead of the Grand Prix. As we're on lap 44, 55, 12 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix for Hamilton to try and find a way through on Verstappen. Kind of a similar situation. To Antonio Giovinazzi last weekend, last season, there's Brendan Hartley's end. But unlike that time where Hamilton was chasing for the tight to keep his championship hopes alive, he doesn't have to really go for the lead. But we know Hamilton to be a racer. Hamilton's trying to look for his eighth victory of the season, which I think will be the most he's ever got in a season. As now he goes around a left-hander on the track as he tries to find a way through on Max Verstappen. And look how close he is now to the backside of him. Sorry for the drop of frames that we're having here. At uh, Abu Dhabi, as uh, Verstappen now then doing a good job fending Hamilton off at this stage. As he will now approach the left-hander on the track now then as we ride on board with Lewis Hamilton. As he will approach the final two turns on the track. I'm sorry for the drop of frames. As now we approach the final corner, I am fearing kind of for the worse in a little bit. Into the final corner and onto the pitch straight. Will Hamilton find a way through? On Max Verstappen now then as it will approach turn one. On the track Verstappen goes defensive on Hamilton. Hamilton piling the pressure on Max Verstappen. As he now makes his way through turns two. And three now then on the track with 11 laps to go. Hamilton piling the pressure on Max Verstappen. Can he get the move done into the bus stop chicane? He looks to the outside then goes to the inside. Hamilton down the inside of Verstappen. And he takes the place. Hamilton leads the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. He takes the lead from Verstappen and that's P1 for the championship leader and potential champion Lewis Hamilton. So P1 it is for the Brit now then. As Stixon is now into the pits for his scheduled stop. And uh, so... That's that for him then, really, as they go down the uh, the pit straight now then on the track. Sorry, the, the, um, the long, long straight now then. As uh, Alonso looks like he's now starting to fall back a bit now then from Daniel Ricciardo. And again, I apologise for the drop of frames. I am fearing for the worse. Now then, in towards the chicane we will go. And uh, again, Alonso trying everything in his power to chase back down Ricciardo, but nothing's working. Uh, at this stage at the moment and uh, now we go in towards the left right chicane uh, on the track now then as uh, Alonso still in fourth but um, it looks like the championship could be slipping away now for the three time champion Fernando Alonso as he now makes his way into the 90 degree right hander on the track now then as uh, Alonso makes his way out of the turn as he continues to lose time uh, to Daniel Ricciardo as a result as Hulkenberg is now in sixth position so in fact uh, Leclerc did not get back in his original place Hulkenberg is now sixth 
uh, ahead of Leclerc. So Leclerc in P7. As Ricardo sets another fastest lap at 135.040. As Ricardo will now try and chase down Verstappen for second place in the Grand Prix now then. Through towards the triple right hand there we go. On the track now then as Leclerc breaks into the walls the 90 degree right hander as he'll go underneath the hotel section uh, on the track now then as he will soon approach the final two corners on the racetrack now then Leclerc doing all he can to try and close up onto Hulkenberg. Out goes Ricardo! Daniel Ricardo is out of the Grand Prix! The man in third place! What's happened to Ricardo? And it's a transmission failure that's taken care of, Alon of Ricardo. Alonso back up to third in the race. And uh, Ricardo, well, that's not really a wise place to pull over, Danny, is it? So Ricardo out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix after four successive podiums. And we're now down to uh, 17 runners in this Grand Prix. It will now put uh, jean Eric Verne into the points. So that's that for him, really. As uh, here he's Hamilton now leading the way from Verstappen. So Verstappen won't need to worry now about Ricardo as he's now retired from transmission problems. Daniel Ricardo out of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And we're now down to 17 runners uh, in this uh, Grand Prix with uh, just uh, 10 laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Soon will be 9 laps once Hamilton crosses the line as we're currently on lap 46 of 55 here at the Yas Marina circuit as Hamilton now then goes around. The triple right-hander now then as he makes his way round through uh, the section of corners. As he just goes around the left-hander. In towards the final two turns then goes Lewis Hamilton as he'll soon start lap 47 of the Grand Prix. Up towards the final turn we will go. And uh, Hamilton now then starts lap 47 of 55. Nine laps to go for him to be crowned the new world champion. Alonso now then trying to chase down Verstappen himself to try and make it an Etihad 1-2 in front of Etihad's adoring fans. But let's see what the gap is like this time by between Verstappen and Alonso. Through turn one, we go on the track now then and it's six seconds exactly between the pair of them. So six seconds between Verstappen and Alonso. So we will wait and see what the gap is like next time by uh, between the pair of them as Alonso makes his way around the bus stop chicane now then before approaching the hairpin and uh, Alonso just comes off the turn now then before approaching the uh, the bus stop the the next chicane on the track is Perez looking very strong in fourth place and this could help him out in their fight with Bud Light Lime in the Constructors Championship at the moment uh, although they'll still be within touching distance of EMR I think it's more likely for EMR to grab second in the Constructors Championship but they've still got the important points to get. But it is going to be quite a task for Bud Light Lime or Eldorado to try and take second from EMR in the Constructors' Championship if it stays like this with Hulkenberg currently sick at the moment. So around the chicane there then goes Sergio Perez. And uh, I think if it stays like this, I think, uh, I think Hulkenberg will either overtake Ricardo for third in the championship again or be tied up with him. I'm not 100% sure. Close up. I can't remember. So... We'll have to wait and see in a little bit as uh, Perez makes his way out of that chicane and in towards the 90 degree uh, left and uh, he will now go. Here's the clear currently in 6th place. Massa though trying to chase him down for 7th place. And Massa who was on the 2 stop strategy trying to chase down the 1 stop strategy. Uh, Charles Leclerc that made any sense whatsoever. In towards the left right chicane. We will go on the track through the left. Then the right and then into the left and there we will go. As uh, Massa now then makes his way up towards the next 90, 90 degree left hander now then as they make their way round the triple right hander. At this stage Monster and Shadow will be tied on points in the Constructors Championship and if my memory serves me right, in fact I won't even know, I think Shadow might be in front but I could be wrong. Just have to wait and see later on today when you see the, dri the Drivers and, and Constructors Championship order after this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as Massa now then comes out of the second to last corner let's see the gap between him and Leclerc uh, this time by as they come down the pitch straight 8 laps remaining for Lewis Hamilton as one lap 48 to 55 in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix into turn 1 we go and the gap between Leclerc and Massa is now let's have a look through turn 2 and then into turn 3 1.5 seconds that's how that looks 
at this stage now then as Massa comes out of the turn heading in towards the bus stop chicane on the track so one and a half seconds the gap that time around between Leclerc and Massa so that's that that's that at this stage now then and we'll have a look in a little bit to see what the gap is like between Alonso and uh, Verstappen Verstappen's still keeping within touching distance at the moment of uh, Lewis Hamilton he hasn't Hamilton hasn't really shook him off at the moment and it looks like maybe Verstappen is actually starting to close Hamilton back in in fact so we could still have a scrap for the lead between Verstappen and Hamilton at the moment so it might not be over yet in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as uh, now Verstappen approaches the final corner on the track let's see the gap between him and uh, and Hamilton at the moment as we have seven laps remaining for Lewis Hamilton lap 49 and 55 an hour and Hamilton's also coming up to traffic as well which could help Verstappen a lot the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen is now let's have a look through turn two and three uh, 1.6 seconds so we'll wait and see what the gap is like next time by as the pair of them now make their way down towards the bus stop chicane now then as they make their way round through these section of corners. Alonso still a little bit back from these guys, but still trying to push hard to try and gain onto them uh, as best as he can as they come down the long straight now then before approaching the uh, the left-right chicane uh, on the track now then. Uh, so Verstappen tries to chase Dan Hamilton as much as possible in this Grand Prix as Mad Max tries to see if he can get his first ever legit victory and Martinez as well after what has been Quite a story for them this season. It must be said for the Italian team. And uh, it will make up for what happened to them in the first four races, I suppose. So now down the support pit straight we go. As Verstappen still tries to gain a little bit onto Lewis Hamilton. Into the left, right and left hander we will soon go. And uh, Verstappen still has an opportunity to win this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. As he just comes off the turn now then. Heading down towards... The triple right-hander on the track now. Then let's see what the gap is going to be like this time by uh, Sir Verstappen. Now then through the left-hander. Uh, in towards the next left-hander he goes. Coming off the exit of the hotel section. We'll have a look and see now then. So in towards the final two corners we go now. Then what's the gap between Hamilton and Verstappen uh, this time by? Round the final corner and onto the pit straight we will now go. As we have six laps remaining in this uh, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And the gap between them is now. Let's have a look. It was 1.6 last time by. And it is 1.7. So in fact Hamilton is up the pace by one tenth of a second. But that piece of traffic in front could help out uh, Verstappen. With six, six laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Alonso only 4.1 seconds back from Verstappen. So he's also gaining onto the top two as well. So Alonso could even have a chance of winning this race as well. As he now makes his way round this left hander now, then heading down the long straight before approaching the left right chicane on the track now, then as uh, all three of them come up to that piece of traffic in the form of Roman Grosjean in the Bud Light Line motorsport car. And uh, Alonso now, then in towards the left and right hander on the track now, then through the left. Then the right goes Fernando Alonso as he makes his way down the straight before approaching the left-right left chicane on the track. And we'll have a look again and see what the gap is like in a little bit. What's going on between Massa and Leclerc at the moment? Well, Massa's not really gaining onto Leclerc as much of an, as anticipated, so he's still quite a bit back. So Leclerc pretty much keeping the gap consistent between himself and uh, Felipe Massa through the left hand of the go. As they go down the long, long straight on the track before approaching the uh, the next chicane. Here's Hamilton still leading the way. Still trying to get up to that piece of traffic to try and lap at the moment. As Hamilton comes out of the hotel section before approaching the final two turns on the track now then. As now they go up towards the final corner and onto the pit straight we will go. And let's see then the gap between him and Verstappen this time by. And we'll look at the gap between Alonso and Verstappen as well. Five laps to go in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. We're now on lap 51 of 55 in this Grand Prix. Through turn one and then up towards turns two and three. We will go in a little bit. The gap between Verstappen and Hamilton is now still 1.7 seconds. So they're both lapping around about the same pace as each other. As Alonso has now cut the gap to just 3.4 seconds. So he's taken, I think... Um, I think around about eight temps he's taken out of uh, Verstappen's lead that time by. So Alonso flying out in front of this stage as they now make their way in towards the left-handed hairpin on the track. Heading down this long, long straight. 
as they will soon approach the left right chicane uh, on the track as uh, they now come down the straight now then in towards the chicane we will go and uh, Hamilton now then can still feel the pressure a little bit from Max Verstappen to the top three game close together in his closing stages of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as uh, Verstappen now then comes down the uh, support pit straight heading in towards the left right left chicane on the track and uh, so now up towards the chicane we will go into the left then into the right and then into the left hander again we will go as now Verstappen will approach this next 90 degree left hander as Verstappen uses a tad bit of curb on the outside there then uh, so he tries everything in his power to try and chase down Hamilton in front of him at the moment but things just aren't going according to pot for Max Verstappen at the minute and in towards the left hander we will go and uh, so now into the corner now then approaching the next section of corners on the track now then as they will soon approach as Verstappen's in he's got brake problem Max Verstappen has a brake problem in the martini and oh what a shame for Max Verstappen he was looking so good for a podium but now it's all come to nothing Alonso up to second it's an Etihad 1-2 the Amoretti's fans go wild and uh, well Verstappen with a brake problem and he'll have to come back into the pits. Will this now put Perez onto the podium? And it does. Perez is onto the podium in the Eldorado. So uh, this could really help out Eldorado in the Constructors' Championship. Verstappen finishes his stop. Where's he going to come out? Hulkenberg's coming out the final turn himself. And um, out of the, uh, the pit lane he goes. Hulkenberg's coming up to turn one. I think he'll just come out in front of him. But what a shame for Verstappen. He was looking so strong for a podium. And now it's come to nothing. He's going to rejoin in fourth place after fixing the brake problem just in front of Hulkenberg. So Hulkenberg will have a battle towards the end of the race with Max Verstappen for fourth place. They might have put on a fr some fresh set of tyres as well on uh, Verstappen at the same time to try and see if he can push. Maybe for a fastest lap if he can. As uh, now through the left hander they go as Verstappen has blown his chances of a podium here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix here at the Asmarina circuit. As... Uh, Hamilton now then comes up towards the triple right-hander now then. As uh, he will soon be starting lap 53 or 55 and a little bit. So three laps to go. Once he crosses the line, of course, is Alonso also gaining as well. Alonso just praying that something bad happens to Hamilton for him to keep the title fight alive going into Adelaide next week. As uh, now, coming up now then towards the final two turns on the track as uh, Alonso... Uh, see the gap then between Hamilton and Alonso as they come down the pit straight now then in towards turn one in, on the track now then and uh, let's see then the gap between Hamilton and Alonso is four seconds exactly so that's how that looks with three laps remaining in this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix as we're just over 15 minutes away from the World Cup final match between France and Croatia so in towards the left right chicane we go Alonso running out of time perhaps to try and save his championship chances going into Adelaide next week and uh, it looks like it's all going according to plan for Lewis Hamilton to take his first ever IFMC title uh, so now he will approach the left right chicane on the track as Hamilton still coming up to that piece of traffic which he still hasn't been able to lap uh, at this stage and uh, he's not getting held up at the minute. He's still got quite a consistent gap between himself and Alonso. But he doesn't want to get held up too much in case Alonso is catching him up rapidly. To the point where he could start to challenge him for the lead of the Grand Prix. As uh, now Hamilton into the left, right and left chicane he will go. As uh, he will make his way now then into the section of corners. As uh, now he will approach the triple uh, right-hander on the track now then let's get to the battle of fourth between Verstappen and Hulkenberg which there isn't any Verstappen has now stretched the advantage so it does prove that he is on a fresh set of, of tyres and uh, he's now starting to get away in fourth place but third place now looks to be out of reach for Verstappen looks like Perez is going to pick up the final podium place in the at the end of this race now then as he makes his way around the triple right-hander on the track and Sir Perez now then comes up towards the hotel section Round the left hander he goes as he now makes his way round through the section of corners. Up towards the final two turns then goes Sergio Perez as Hamilton has started his penultimate lap 
of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix has started lap 54-55 as Alonso has gained by 5 tenths of the second. The gap now 3.5 seconds between the two Etihads. I don't think Alonso will do enough to close up to Hamilton. We'll have to hope that something bad happens to Hamilton, not only to win this race, but to salvage his championship chances as Hamilton comes out of the left hand and now they're heading down this uh, long straight before approaching the left-right chicane. On the track now then as Hamilton will approach the uh, chicane on the track. And uh, so now into the left, right chicane he goes through the left and then into the right hand he will go. Uh, so he just comes off the turn now they're heading down the straight uh, before approaching the uh, chicane. Which they will soon approach as uh, he's still having trouble trying to like Roman Grosjean at this stage of the Grand Prix. But like you'll need to worry. It doesn't, it's not looking like Alonso is gaining onto him rapidly at this stage. Of course last lap it was three and a half seconds uh, between the pair of them. And uh, so that's that really. What's going on between the player and Massa? Well, it looks like Massa's gained a little bit, but he's still not within the slipstream range that he needs to try and challenge Leclerc for sixth place. So I think at the moment, Leclerc will do enough to hold on to sixth place. As Verne's looking good to hold on to the final points place in the end there then. But uh, so that's that really. Leclerc looking good to get some more points for Shadow Mercedes. But meantime, here's Lewis Hamilton coming up towards the second to last corner as he will now approach the final corner on the track and Lewis Hamilton is about to start his final lap here at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. It's been a fantastic race for the Brit. He started in second position, was able to get the jump on Ricardo at the start and was able to build a lead at the front. Despite a bit of pressure from Max Verstappen due to his one-stop strategy, he was able to make the two-stop work even despite the brake problem Verstappen had to the end. And despite Alonso chasing him down, nothing has stopped the Brit. And if he can just keep this up, he is looking good, not only to take his eighth victory of the season, but also the season four championship as well. He he will finally end the streak of Fernando Alonso if he can just keep this up for these final few meters on the racetrack now then Alonso's just got to beg and pray that something bad happens to Hamilton to keep his championship hopes alive Perez looking good for the final podium place here in the here at Yas Marina and uh, a much needed podium really considering the troublesome weekends that Eldorado has have had these past weekends as they continue to scrap with Bud Light Line for third place in the Constructors Championship. For Stappen, it could have been a lot more. It could have even been a chance for the victory. But um, you only look back as a what if, really, in this Grand Prix as it's going to be fourth place for him. More points for the Clare, as mentioned a little earlier. And, uh, well, it'll be a happy day for Team Moss Jake Wormsley as they will be tied with Monster Grand Prix in the Constructors Championship on our list due to the fact that Mass is currently seventh in this uh, Grand Prix now then and uh, that's that for them really as far uh, as they are concerned and uh, do we have uh, 15 cars left now or no we still have 70 cars I do apologize but meantime here is Lewis Hamilton now and then coming up towards the final two corners it has been such a brilliant race and uh, well brace yourselves ladies and gentlemen round the final corner we go and after an amazing race it is going to be Lewis Hamilton who wins the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix here at Yas Marina and as a result of Alonso finishing second Lewis Hamilton is the season four IFMC champion he has done it he has ended Alonso's streak he's finally beaten his rival after three seasons of finishing second fiddle to him Hamilton is the world champion and does it just before Alonso leaves. Fernando Alonso finishes in second. He is not the world champion. His streak has come to an end. Sergio Perez crossed the line in third. Max Verstappen will cross the line in fourth. Nico Hulkenberg will cross the line in fifth position in the end. And uh, that's that for him really. Charles Leclerc is going to cross the line in sixth. Getting three more points for Charles Mercedes in the Constructors Championship. So it's sixth place. For Charles Leclerc, a brilliant result for him. Seventh place for Felipe Massa. It's going to be P8 for jean Verne. In the end there then, Kimi Raikkonen is going to cross the line in ninth position. So P9 for Raikkonen, just missing out on points. Carlos Sainz Jr. is going to cross the line in tenth position. He comes down the pitch straight. It's P10 for Sainz. P11 for Stoffel Van Dorn. Wasn't able to recover from his mistake. We didn't see from the cameras. P16 for Ed Jones. In the end, in front of his home fans, he'll get a round of applause from the Emirates fans. Either way, P16 for Jones. He beats his teammate in front of his home fans. 12th place for Brendan Hartley. 17th for Scott Dixon, his fellow compatriot, as he rounds the final turn himself. So P17 
for Scott Dixon in the end. It's going to be P13 for Antonio Giovinazzi. 14th for Esteban Ocon. And it's going to be 15th for Romain Grosjean in the end there. Then as they come down the pit straight. And there you have it then. In the end, Lewis Hamilton wins the Aradari Grand Prix. And becomes the Season 4 IFMC champion. We have a brand new champion in IFMC. Ending the Fernando Alonso streak that he had of championships. So... There you have it in, guys. After all of that, here is the results of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton wins the race and becomes the new world champion. Fernando Alonso crosses the line and finished second. Sergio Perez third. Max Verstappen fourth. Nico Hulkenberg fifth. Charles Leclerc sixth. Felipe Massa seventh. Jean Louis Verne in eighth. Kimi Raikkonen ninth. Carlos Sainz Jr. tenth. Stoffel Van Dorn in eleventh with Brennan Hartley twelfth. Antonio Giovinazzi thirteenth. Esteban Ocon in fourteenth position. And if we scroll down. The rest of the field, it was Romain Grosjean 16th, Ed Jones 17th, Scott Dixon, the last of the finishers in 17th position. And the five retirements were Daniel Ricciardo, Kevin Magnussen, Valtteri Bottas, Pascal Verlein, and Sebastian Vettel. They were the retirements of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So let's see you set the fastest lap of the race then. Let's have a quick look. And it was Max Verstappen with a 1 minute 34.761. So Verstappen got the fastest lap in the end, but it could have been a lot more. He was two tenths quicker than Daniel Ricciardo in the end there then. So there you have it then, guys. That has been it from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix here at the Asmina Circuit. It has been quite a, a very exciting Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, it must be said, with so many things going on in terms of strategy. But congratulations to Lewis Hamilton of Etihad Racing for wrapping up his first ever IFMT title. Well done to him indeed. But that has been it then, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It has been a very interesting weekend of racing. We've crowned three champions this weekend. Felix Rosenquist in GP2, Ferdinand Hasberg in GP3, and Lewis Hamilton in the top class. So that is it then, guys, from the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. I hope you enjoyed it. IFMC now has one more race to go, and that is at the Pacific Grand Prix in Adelaide, which takes place next weekend. Uh, but that has been it then guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. The podium for the top class is coming away just after this But until then guys that has been it. I hope you've enjoyed it So thank you very much for watching. I've been JWF1 and I'll see you guys next weekend for the final race of the season 4 IFMC championship at the Pacific Grand Prix in Adelaide until then Congratulations to Lewis Hamilton again and enjoy the top class podium